A new report ranks the United States as 16th in global infrastructure. Joining us on WDIS Newsline is Mike DeLacy, president of Microdesk. Microdesk is a national building consulting agency who has worked with major clients, including the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, on infrastructure projects. Microdesk is urging businesses to train now in advanced technology and capitalize on new methods of building in order to make sure the U.S. infrastructure can stand the test of time. And let's say hello to our guest now. Hello, sir. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you. First of all, define what infrastructure is. Um, infrastructure is really anything that, uh, anything in the built world. So it's roads, sewer systems, water systems, buildings, bridges. You know, it's, it's the things that we use every day. You know, I remember as early as the 1980s reports on the news about how bad the infrastructure in the U.S. was. Uh, roads that were falling apart, unsafe bridges, that sort of thing. Uh, have we made any progress since the 1980s in getting our act together? Uh, I, think that, I think that from a technology standpoint, from how we go about designing and, and maintaining some of these facilities, we have improved, but I don't think that the, um, the funding and the priority has been there to make sure that we're keeping pace. So just in the last couple of years, you know, you, you reported that, uh, that we're now 16th. We were 6th in 2008. So we've dropped 10 slots, you know, behind South Korea over the last two or three years. That's not good. That's no. Good. Do, you think, do you think the American public is aware of this problem and care enough about it right now, especially since the economy has been so bad? I, I think that they, I think it's riding in the back of everybody's mind, but you're right. I mean, pe people think more about the economy and, and, and more about, you know, maintaining their, their jobs than they do about infrastructure. But I think that that's, you know, it's an interesting point that uh, I think there's a lot of people out there that believe that investing in an infrastructure and getting America back, you know, to first place in infrastructure is a great way to solve that jobs problem. Now, the president is talking about a plan to, uh, beef up the infrastructure. He, he thinks it's going to also help, uh, you know, in the, in the area of unemployment. What do you think of the president's plan? I, I think any plan that, that puts infrastructure, you know, as a priority is good. I think any, any plan to invest in infrastructure is a good one. You know, we talk about, you know, going from 6th to 16th, you know, and, and you talked about unsafe roads and unsafe bridges. I mean, there are reports out there that in the state of Connecticut, 35% of the bridges, you know, are not safe. So I, I think it's really important that we make it a priority, and I think that uh, it will help jobs. It will get people back to work, and it will improve the economy. Of course, there are a lot of people who are screaming, we have to balance the budget. Can we fix the infrastructure and balance the budget, do you think, or is that something that's just not doable? I think that balancing the budget probably has little to do with whether we invest in infrastructure or not. But I do think that investing in infrastructure will, again, it will improve the economy. And when people go back to work, you, you know, they're paying taxes because they're earning money. And, you know, it's, it's a real complicated matter, but I think it, it, it will help things more than hurt them. Uh -huh. Now, would you be, if you don't mind, take a moment and tell us about Microdesk. Sure. So Microdesk is a, is a technology consulting firm that focuses on the building industry. And, you know, our, our approach is that by improving the way that we design and the way that we construct this infrastructure and then by delivering, you know, really intelligent digital information to the people that are operating and maintaining the infrastructure, we can do a couple of things. We can um, decrease the cost associated with getting America back to first. We can build better infrastructure. We can have world-class and world-leading infrastructure. And we can improve the cost associated with maintaining that infrastructure. So, uh, you know, our goal, you know, as an organization is to uh, make sure that we're maximizing the benefit of any money that people put into repairing or building new infrastructure. I have to bring this up. You're talking to a guy who's in eastern Massachusetts. We did a thing recently called the Big Dig. Yes. And it's very it's been very controversial. I mean, the, the, the tunnels leak, 
uh, a ceiling panel fell and hit a car and killed a woman a few years ago. Um, your cost overrides were enormous. Uh, is that to be expected with that size of project, or was that just mismanaged? Do you think, to some extent? I, I think it was a you know it was the largest infrastructure project in America. Um, it was a very, very complicated project. It was done, you know, most of the design work for that project was done in the late 80s and early 90s. So I think that the level of technology that was available at that time was, was limited. Uh, that's about, you know, as much as I can say, you know, not having, you know, a lot of knowledge of that project. There certainly has been a lot of changes since the late 80s. I mean, computerization in the, the field of engineering construction has really made a tremendous difference, hasn't it? It, it really has, and, and I think that it's, you know, one of the reasons, you know, I'm, I'm glad to have this opportunity to talk with you because, you know, we really are urging people to, you know, in the, in the design and construction industry, to make sure they're aware of how much has changed and what the possibilities around some of this new technology are to improve, you know, the way that we go about designing and constructing some of, some of these uh, infrastructure projects. Well, I'm afraid we're almost out of time. If, if people listening now, especially people in the construction field, want to get more information about Microdesk, how do they do that? Sure, they can, the easiest way is to go to our website, which they can reach at www.microdesk.com. And, you know, just some concepts that they, that they can look into are things like building information modeling and virtual design and construction, which are, you know, two of the, the more recent technologies that are out there today that are kind of driving some of these changes in the, in the infrastructure and construction world. You know, the United States is the country that beat, not beat, but built the Panama Canal, and that was done in uh, turn of the century, 20th century technology. So I think the United States really puts its mind to it. It can, it can build just about anything, can it? I absolutely agree. I, I think that one of the greatest things about the United States is our ability to um, invent new things and, and be in, in, innovative um, and to apply technology to solve problems. And, and that's what we're going to need to do in the next, you know, five years to, to get America back to first in infrastructure. So I want to thank you very, very much for coming on talking with us. Uh, thank you. It was a pleasure. I'm happy to be here. Well, it's a very important topic, and we need to talk more about it. Absolutely. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks so much, Dan.